What's up, all you old souls? It's Sunday. It's nice in Nebraska. Um, I just wanted to make a vlog about all of the drains and the seals in the Del Sol, because we all know these things leak, like, a ton. But uh, if you take care of them and you do preventative maintenance, you shouldn't have any issues or you might be missing something, or they've rotted. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys where everything's at, um, just so you know, and you can look to see if you are having leaks or whatnot. But this hopefully will help in just uh, knowing where they're at and how to address the issues if you have them. So let's get into this video. All right, so we all know we have these seals here. Um, your targa leaks sometimes. Uh, you'll have water back here sometimes. You'll have water on the floor down there sometimes. You'll have water in your trunk here sometimes. So those are kind of the main points to look towards. Um, also, you can have water down here and that's what causes the rot in your rear quarter panels. So I'm gonna show you guys all that, but let's start with the targa seals first all right so we're on the inside here and uh we have all these seals on the inside of our targa tops and you can't really see anything because you have your trim in here and it's pretty difficult but i've got one of these opened up and let's show you guys what all is in your targa rail seal so here is the targa rail all opened up. You can see your seals right here and whatnot. And if you flip it over, here's where you'll see the little water canal or whatever you want to call it. And then the thing that a lot of people, I don't know if you guys know, to, but on the ends, there are little drain holes. Hopefully the camera's focusing here. And there's some dog hair. Sorry. I got lots of big dogs. Um, but these are what the water drains out of when it rains. So it's going to collect and it's going to come through all the way to the other side. So there's the other one on the other side. And these can get clogged for sure. Or you can have rips in here and it'll drain out of here so keeping these things intact is really important see how this one's kind of meh but you can probably silicone this up and prevent water from leaking right here so i will have to address this one but these are in pretty good shape but that is for sure where your water is going to drain out of in your target rails and these things are like located right here so your water is going to drain but if they're clogged it's just going to like leak inside here maybe and all the way down and it's going to pool in here maybe but uh so that's what this little slit is right here and the rain collects and it'll catch all the way down here and it'll go down um same same here it's going to collect and it's going to pool there's a spider in my targa seal sorry spider but um, that's where all this comes down and you can see mine even has like rips so they're not all perfect but if you could get nice ones i didn't even notice that that kind of sucks i'll have to fix that with something bummer but uh so that's kind of a little overview of your target seal. And you also have these seals running all the way down both sides. And you want to make sure you don't see any gaps in your seals because that's all going to leak down through all this stuff or down through all this here. So uh, that's one thing that you want to look out for with your target seals. But I just wanted to show you those little tiny holes are really important if those get clogged. So make sure... If they are clogged, you can try and snake something 
through here to unplug all that because there might be stuff in there just from I don't know 20 years of your Del Sol having crud in there. All right, so the next one is your rear sail drain tubes. So this is the back of your Del Sol. There's this plastic um, trim piece that goes here. And I don't have mine here because I'm repainting my car right now. So sorry, I can't show you that. But I can show you how to take it apart. So you can't take this off unless you open up your trunk here. So if you open up your trunk, there is a screw here and there's a screw up here and you have to remove those first and be careful because this piece right here is really, really fragile. It'll snap if you just rip. Actually, all of these will just snap. So be careful when you take this off, but there's one, two, three, four clips that you gotta pop out. And then you can get this piece off. You don't necessarily have to take this off if you don't want to, but it's just easier to take it all off and then you can access all this a lot easier. But once you do all that, there's these little drain plugs right here. And these go down through your car, like all the way. And I'll show you where those are. So if we come on the inside here, you'll see. So here's the other side. I've got this all taken apart here, but here it is. Here's your drain tube right here. And from the outside, it's gonna drain all the way down. We probably can't see down there. It's going to drain down through the bottom of the car. So that's where those are at. Uh, most people take a air compressor and they'll blow all that out. Or you can take a coat hanger maybe and jam it all down in there. Um, I showed you guys last week on Instagram. You can also cut off the end of a USB and you can snake it through and yank it all the way through. So there's a couple of different things you can do with that. But uh, that's one of them. There's also a lot of problems with your rear window here. Um, if your seal back here isn't working or your drains are plugged back here, you can get water sloshing around back here. And that's super annoying. And it's a pretty pain in the butt thing to do because you got to remove this whole back panel. And I wish I had it open for you guys but i'm not going to do that but i can show you where the drain tubes are but what you have to do is there's all these bolts here one two three four five six seven eight um and then you have to remove your speakers and all your trim and you gotta rip this panel off and the and the bad thing about this panel is um, it's glued with like Honda's industrial glue. So once you get all the bolts off, you just can't like, and it'll come out. Like you literally have to rip it out. Like it's glued on there and you got to rip it carefully. And unfortunately, all your window mechanisms are all back there. And there's a part to your window motor that the uh, harness is attached to the back of this panel over here. I think it's one of these two bolts actually. And the harness is plugged up under here. So once you get some of this off, you can't just rip this out because you'll rip that harness. So um, you got to rip it out slowly and then you got to get your hand back in there and you got to unplug it because you'll rip your harness from your from your window regulator and your defrost on your window. And you don't want to do that. So that would not be fun. But then you can see here, there's two drains right here. One here and one here. And there's holes that go down. So those are your two drains for your rear window. So you got one, two, three, four drains in the back there. And those are all 
problem areas if they get clogged or if you have water sloshing in there. So those are good areas to check. Um, you use the same kind of methods, uh, air or something to jam down in there and unplug it off. So then there's one other area that you can check and it's if you have AC. Um, I don't have air conditioning in my Del Sol and it just never came with it, um, which sucks. It gets really hot. But if you get underneath your passenger side dash, way under here, you guys, if you have AC, should have a drain back here for your AC. And this can get clogged and it'll be right in here, this little tube. And sometimes people will have water or your uh, carpet's gonna be wet or whatever. It can leak on your ECU and short it out, like all sorts of problems. But that's another area to check down in there if you can, right there, that drain plug. We've got a video on it a long time ago, like two years ago. So if you want more in depth, check out that video. Um, but yeah, this is just, a, I don't know, a short little overview here. Um, but literally, it can leak anywhere if your seals aren't good on your dull sole. So um, let me show you guys what you can use to treat your seals really quick. We also have a video on that. Um, kind of doing double coverage here, but uh, hi, this is Brad from Old Souls coming to you from Honda with Shinatsu Grease. Seriously though, this stuff is the best. Shinatsu, Shinatsu silicone. Um, you can buy it off Amazon. You can buy it off eBay. Um, let me see if I can open this with one hand. I think I can. Here it is. It's just a silicone grease. Um, this stuff is worth its weight in gold. Um, don't pay over 20 bucks for it. You should be able to get it anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks. But in that previous video, I treated all of my seals and they feel so nice now. They're not all like rock hard. They're nice and soft and like malleable. Um, this one was also treated with it and it just, it keeps them nice and plump and just not hard as a rock and it won't crack and whatnot so i mean at least once a year treat your seals with this stuff um a lot of other people if you have big gaps like this one that i found today making this video like there's not much you can do for that but you can like black maybe silicone this in 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 here and uh treat it that way but uh i don't know that that seal's kind of lost, but um, if you're dailying your Del Sol and it's raining a lot, I mean, try the black silicone. That's what I'm going to do here. Luckily, I just am blessed that my Del Sol is not a daily driver, and I don't really take it out when it's raining or snowing or whatnot, so it's kind of a garage uh, queen right now, but uh, yeah, I don't know. The Shinatsu and or silicone will work. Um, I also know people put some washers up in the mounts for your uh, target top. If it's feeling really loose, um, you can kind of get more of a hard like uh, clamp down when you use your target handles. I think Sadowski made a video on that fix. So if you guys want to check out his video, um, I can link it down in the description below. Like I said before, I've kind of covered most of this already, so I'm not going to go too in depth on everything. I just kind of wanted to make an overview of some of the spots that you can check or do preventative maintenance on to um, maybe not have some of these issues going forward. So, um, but I'll link everything else, all the other videos we've done on the specific examples that i showed you guys in this video down below so check all those out too but uh yeah that should at least help you guys um like i said I do preventative maintenance and whatnot and i'm rambling and blah 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 blah, blah. but hopefully this video helps um just plugging along on the car guys luckily we've had some pretty nice weather here in nebraska it hasn't i mean it's gotten cold and it snowed but uh today it's going to be 60 so 
I'm out messing around on the Del Sol right now. But uh, yeah, thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully it helps you guys. Um, I'm also going to do a probably a thread on the Old Souls forum. Um, I'll shoot some photos of this stuff just to document it there because we need to save documentation in the forums, even though some of you guys are like, are those even a thing anymore? The forum is a thing. Definitely hop on there. We want to try and document as much Del Sol stuff as possible. So I'm going to keep it going forever with everything that I know how to do. It's not going to go away. So I'm trying to build the community on the forum and get documentation on there. So you guys need to hop on there, contribute, do whatever you guys want to ask questions, throw up images of your Del Sol, all that stuff. That would be awesome to see. So, uh, I'll see you guys in on the forum and uh, I'll see you guys on Wednesday for the next uh, weekly IGTV video recap. So, uh, all right, guys, check you out. Peace.